Next, I'm going to discuss what the trend method of this program. So, first time I'm going to enter n value at here 11. So, n value I enter 11. Here, after that, check if n greater than 1, 11 greater than 1, condition is true that coincide. So, at here for i in range 2, comma n. So, about the range function I discussed in my last video. So, there you can get detail about range function. So, at your range function, what do? So, this is 2. So, 2 is the starting point. And n, n value is 11, I enter. So, 11 is the ending point. So, i value is now I start from 2 and that continue on till 10. So, one more variable, blank. So, that initialized to 0. Here after if n mod i, so n value is 11, i value is 2, 11 mod 2, so it divide by 5 times, remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, that condition is so not true, so that not go to n side, here after loop continue, so that go loop continue, so next time the i value is, is now 3. So here, yeah, i value is 3, blank 0 again, so at uh, 11 mod 3, double equal to 0, so 11 mod 3, so it divide by 3 times, and remainder come 2, so 2 double equal to 0, condition is uh, or not true, so that not coincide, here after i is 4 now, next time, here, yeah, blank 0, so 11 mod 4, so it divide by 2 times, and here, yeah, remainder come 3, 3 double equal to 0, condition is not true, so that not coincide, here after loop continue, so next time i value 5, so right here, yeah, i value is 5, flag 0, so 11 mod 5, so it divide by 2 times, remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition, that is not true, so not coincide, here after i is now 6. So add here 6 i value flag 0 so 11 mod 6 so it divide by 1 times and remainder come 5 5 double equal to 0 that is not to not coincide here after i is 7 here 11 mod 7 so it divide by 1 times remainder come 4 so 4 double equal to 0 that is not to not coincide here after loop continue so next time i value is 8 so here i will is 8 so 11 mod 8 so you divide by 1 times remainder come 3 3 double equal to 0 that is not true so not go inside next time i value 9 here flag 0 so 11 mod 9 so it divide by 1 times and remainder come 2 2 double equal to 0 that is not true not go inside here after i is 10 so add here flag 0 so 11 mod 10, so 11 mod 10, so here, yeah. remainder come, it divide by 1 times and remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, that is not to not coincide, so next time i become 11, so here, yeah. i enter n value is 11, so 11 is the starting point, so here after that not coincide, control comes to this point, if flag double equal to 0, so flag value is 0 now, so add here print n values, so n value is 11, so the output come 11 is prime number. So next time if I am going to enter n value is 12, so let's see what happened. So n value I enter 12, 12 greater than 1, condition is true, so for i in range 2 to 11, 2 to 12. So 2 is the starting point and 12 is the stopping point. So here after flag is 0, so I enter if n mod i. So n value is 2 and i value first time that is start from 2. So 12 mod 2, so it divide by 6 time, remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, that coincide. So I enter flag is 1 now and print function. So print function n, so n value is now 12, I enter. So the output come 12 is not a prime number. Here after break statement comes so that terminate the current loop. So current loop is for loop so that terminate now control comes to this point. 
if flag double equal to 0, so flag value is 1. Yeah, so 1 double equal to 0, the condition is not true. So now not print anything. And since that out from for loop, so now next ter that terminate the program. So if you enter 11, so the output come 11 is a prime number. If you enter 12, so the output come 12 is not a prime number. So if you break the use break a statement, so that terminate the current loop, for loop, and here after that out from the programs. So this is the trial method of this program to check number is prime or not. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So thanks for watching. See you next video.